Look at, look up, see the fire and the smoke? Now close the door again, Cap. You see that? Now what's happening to the fire? It's going away, right? It's darkening down. Because fire needs oxygen to breathe, just like we do. And if there's not enough oxygen, the fire doesn't work very well, it doesn't burn very well. So we want to keep our doors closed, and we want to make sure... Look how, look how dense that smoke is. The heavy, heavy brown and black smoke, right? We could never breathe that, but if you look by the stove, there's not much, not much smoke there, is there? Because that door is keeping all that fire and all that smoke away. That door is still holding all of that fire back and away from the family in the house. The smoke detectors would have went off already and I warned you, but that door is keeping us some, somewhat safe. All right, so now we have some of our junior firefighters who are gonna extinguish this fire. Are we ready for that? Let's hear it for the juniors. Do you think we should try using a fire extinguisher on this fire? No! No way, it's too big. We need a fire hose. All right, they're using that fire hose now. They're working it up at the ceiling where it's the hottest. And now they're gonna work their way down lower and they're gonna start to extinguish this fire. All of our junior firefighters up there are wearing something on their back and their face. Does anybody know what that is? Huh? What is that on their back? Somebody I didn't pick on yet. What is it? It's an oxygen or an air tank, right? We call it an SCBA, right? It's called self-contained breathing apparatus. We bring our own air with us because we can't breathe the smoke either. A normal couch fire. These happen unfortunately all the time. So we should hear our smoke detector pretty soon. You guys can't hear it over here, but it's beeping away right now. That smoke detector is going off. Yeah, I hear it beeping. So the smoke detector is going off, and real soon now, the sprinkler head should activate and suppress that fire. You guys ready? It's like having a safety tool, a safety device in your house that works automatically. It suppresses that fire, it keeps the fire much smaller, and keeps the smoke less, so we can hopefully get out of the house safely. I would recommend that everybody, if you could, if you're doing a renovation on your house, or you're having a new house built, to absolutely consider putting a residential smoke, I mean, a residential fire sprinkler system in your house. It could save your life. They're designed to save your life. So now I'm going to show you what the room looks like without a residential system. The fire, they turned it off and now the fire is starting to get big again. And it's going to start burning through. You see it's starting to poke its way out the back? The other couch is catching fire now. Pretty soon this room is going to get so hot in there, it's going to be over 1500 degrees at the ceiling. But if you want to stay down low, you can crawl out of here still. The fire is starting to roll out the front, and this is what happens. And pretty soon, if the fire department doesn't, if you don't call the fire department and put it out, everything in that room, right down to the rug on the floor, 
will catch fire. Everything in the room. That's a pretty big fire, right? And now our juniors will put the fire out. Okay, so once again, do you think you're going to put that fire out with a